damn it, I didn't want to jump on the bandwagon. But I almost have to. Because this is how crazy it's getting. Now, everybody agrees he did uh, defend himself. But the left is so fucking nuts. They actually say, well, he shouldn't have been there to begin with. He shouldn't have been there to begin with. And uh, the skateboarder's family, the one he shot and killed, one of the ones he killed, said he was such a great guy. And if uh, Kyle wasn't there, he'd be alive today. Here's something to think about. If he did not hit Kyle over the head with a fucking skateboard, he would be alive today. And, and you guys want to say the 17-year-olds have never been there. What gives their little skateboarder son the right to be there also? So, th 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 here's the funny part. Everybody keeps saying about he had no right to be there. But neither did everybody else. The first guy he shot just got out of a mental hospital for raping boys, five to ten. Anal sex raping boys. Boy, that's a... I tell you what, he was definitely something there. I tell you what. He used words like, you gotta shoot me, nigger. You gotta shoot me, nigger. You gotta shoot me, nigger. Now, now... Me saying that, my channel might get banned. I didn't say it. That's what he said. You can watch it. That skateboarder who hit him in the head twice. There, there's a black man unnamed. He also, he also got found not guilty for attempted murder for him. They, they got his, they got, you got, you can look it up. So everybody that's saying he should be found guilty because he should not have been there. Name one person that he killed or shot that should have been there. Just name one. Uh, uh. That's my dog. He's not touched on his toy. So. All those people are allowed to be there? It's kind of funny. Your only point is he should have never been there. Do you know his dad lives there? His grandfather lives there? 20 miles away. That uh, that idiot he shot last, he shot him in a bicep, had to drive over 40 miles away to get there? <laughs> just, just say... Just saying. You're damn right. He was American. He stood up to these motherfuckers. I do not wish anybody to die. I wish that did not happen. But when this child molester who rapes boys in the ass came after him after telling him he's going to cut his fucking heart out and tried to grab his gun, he is dead. So I guess that happened. He then realized there was a problem and started running down the street. He got hit in the head with a piece of concrete, a skateboard b before your, 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 uh, your, your skateboarding son died. He hit him in the head before then also. Um, he kept trying to go down the street not once putting his hand on the trigger. Not once putting his firearm in anybody till he was hit. He got kicked in the head by an unknown black man. Oh, they know who he is. He fired two shots at him. He got hit in the head with a skateboard. I, I don't like to talk dead, uh, bad about the dead. But second time he hit him in the head. And I'm going to say, nice shot. But the problem is, with the nice shot is, he was just trying to get out of there. And you're all saying, we shouldn't have been there, he shouldn't have been protecting him. Then who? If Kyle wasn't there protecting him, then who? So this whole verdict 
is, is saying to America that, you know, it's like two to three years of this bullshit of where people could just burn down cities and nobody does anything. Now, maybe the people that live there can do something. Remember how big of the deal they made about those people that lived in the mansion? They came out with an AR. I have one of those ARs. It's awesome. Nicole. And she came out with a pistol that doesn't that did not fire. But she came out anyhow. They they knocked down her gate. They went into her own personal property and everything and threatened them and called them racist. This, 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 this is this is what I'm saying. Finally. Kyle Rippenhouse. See you in a couple years. Maybe I'll drink a beer with you. God bless. Bye. Just because you're offended, just because you think you can burn down, destroy people's property, people can stand up to this shit. And that's what scares you. I don't scare you because I'm not going to do anything to you. Try to burn down my community here where I live. I'm going to stand with the other people in that community. That scares you. You don't like that we're able to defend ourselves. And that's what this whole trial has been about. It might have been too long. God bless the